Hello Aries, welcome back. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. Uh, you won't believe it guys, I did your reading and I accidentally wiped it. <laughs> it's gone, deleted, finito. <laughs> so obviously you were not meant to hear that reading. Uh, so here we are again <laughs> for the second time doing your reading uh, let's see what messages come through for you in love and relationship in the upcoming days and week. We are going to kick off using a connected and free oracle card as the main energy of the week. Let's see, Aries. Of course, as always, if you enjoy this reading, guys, feel free to hit that like button. Let me know by hitting that like button. Um, and if you haven't already done so, feel free to subscribe where you will be supporting the channel and of course where you will be notified of every time I release a new video here on the channel as well. So the main energy coming through this week is the sacral, uh, sacral chakra, sorry, sacral chakra. Uh, I do believe the sacral chakra is the second chakra and it is connected to pleasure guilt i'm pretty sure the sacral chakra is connected to pleasure and guilt so uh, i feel like those two words there pleasure and guilt may may go hand in hand for you this week when it comes to your relationship or when it comes to your love life there may be an element of guilt tied into what pleasures you so if you are connecting with someone here for purely the physical and the pleasurable side there's an element to feeling guilty about that feeling guilty because you want to receive pleasure or give pleasure here And of course, pleasure is something that you are allowed to receive. Okay, there's, it shouldn't be shamed upon or frowned upon. It's you're allowed to receive pleasure and or give pleasure. It's where truly beautiful things are birthed and born from. So we're just going to leave that card right there. And we're going to see how that ties in with the other messages that comes through. Aries for you this week in love. We will also go into clarify some of these cards if necessary. And towards the end of the read Aries we will draw extra messages when it comes to the person that you're connecting to as well look at that there's that wands energy eight of wands ten of wands reversed i see the eight of wands for you as you're really keen to give yourself to someone here you're really keen to get something going here look at that ace of cups those eight wands this is your energy ready ready to go ready to rumble ready to rock This one wanted to come through. King of Wands in reverse. You could be dealing with another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay. Let's take a look at these cards, shall we? You're definitely keen to get something started here with the Ace of Cups. There is someone new 
for for a lot of you Aries out there. There's someone new here on the scene. Or there is an opportunity to connect with new love, new prospects here. And this is this is making you feel happy because I see water pouring out of this Ace of Cups, which is emotional happiness. Your love tank is full this week. Your love tank is so full, Aries, that you just want to give yourself to someone who's willing to receive your love, your affection. You're so ready here to get firing on all cylinders, okay? Those wands, they're flying through the air. You're already in full flight here. I see the Ten of Wands in reverse as you letting go of any guilt or shame attached to this pleasure that you're allowed to receive. If you want passion, you're you're you can go out and get passion. You're passionate by nature. There's no stopping an Aries from giving passion and or being passionate. There's no stopping. So I do see here with this Ten of Wands in reverse that you're letting go of any shame or guilt attached to pleasure and passion. I feel with the King of Wands in reverse that you are very fixed on what it is that you want. There's no stopping the King of Wands in reverse. He is tunnel visioned. Even with the Ten of Wands in reverse, this is tunnel vision. Okay? With the Seven of Swords, though, I, I want to say, Aries, just watch the tendency to maybe deceive or tell white lies to get what you want. Okay, when the King of Wands is tunnel visioned, he knows that there are some things that he's saying or doing that is without integrity because he wants what he wants. So just, just watch this energy. Uh, you'll know if that speaks to you or not. There may be an element of sneaking around here. Okay, going behind closed doors. This could be an affair here. It could be just a quick, something quick, something casual here coming in here for you. But I see here with the Ten of Swords in reverse, you don't want to hurt anybody. Okay, you're not out to hurt anybody. I don't feel that. As long as you're not hurting anybody. Here. But there is this element of sneaking around. So let's take a look at that, shall we? Spirit, angels and guides, can we get some clarity on the Seven of Swords? Why is the Seven of Swords here, please? Why is the Seven of Swords here, please? Queen of Pentacles, because 
Someone could be married here with the Queen of Pentacles. The person that you want to receive pleasure from or give pleasure to here may be married. Or the Queen of Pentacles could be your boss. Could be someone that you work with and no one's allowed to know. You know, it's like it's, it's best not to let anybody in the office know because it would be inappropriate. Mm, that's what I see there. Let's get some clarity on the Ace of Cups. Spirit Angels and Guides. The Moon. Again, a card of secrets. It's like no one is... No one is allowed to know about this new person or this desire that you have towards the new person or someone here. You're keeping your desire between you that you have for this person between you and this other individual. But there is an intensity growing here. Okay, let's get some clarity between, uh, let's get some clarity on the King of Wands. <laughs> Look at that, clarified by the Seven of Swords. Again, secrets, tiptoeing around. Just be careful, be careful areas that you don't get caught out. Okay, I feel like what you're doing, it's deliberate. The intention you've set here is deliberate. Queen of Swords. Can't stop thinking about this person. Let's get some clarity on the Ten of Swords in reverse. Four of Pentacles. I feel like because this four of pentacles is this woman in this card, she's holding a pentacle and it's covering her heart chakra. You don't want to hurt anybody here because you know you're going into this not really looking for anything serious. You're not really looking to give your heart to someone here. Three of Pentacles. You, you don't want to hurt anybody here, but you also don't want to lose your job with the Pentacles. Okay. Um, you're holding on to something here that you don't want to lose. As long as with the Three of Pentacles, this person is happy to come to an agreement here. Yeah, you don't want to hurt anybody in, in this situation. Okay, but the Three of Pentacles tells me that both parties have to agree. Mm, both parties have to agree. Let's get some clarity on the Eight of Wands. Oh, here we go. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This person could be coming out of a divorce or marriage with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Again, I'm seeing a work situation here. You're moving forward towards this person with a lot of passion, a lot of intensity, intensity, and of a lot and a lot of attraction. But with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it tells me here that you don't want anything committed with this person. You're not looking for a long-term relationship with this person. Okay, so this person's coming through with the Five of Coins. This person 
this person that you're dealing with here may lack something in their life. They're missing something in their life. And it's kind of like you're filling a void here for them. Yeah, you're filling a great, great void within this person. I don't feel like things are going very well for them in their life right now. This person could be reaching out to you, begging for you, for your love, for your touch, for a one night stand. Six of coins. Again, I feel here that this person is willing to partake or participate in this pleasure or this passion because there's something here that you're both receiving from this okay you're getting something from it they're getting something from it hmm i'm even seeing the symbol of taurus here you could be connecting to a taurus here This is someone who's feeling very randy or got a lot, a lot to give passionately. Look at this, three of coins now. Three of coins. Lot, look at this, this is all earth energy. Strong earth energy here. I just want to say with the six of coins and the three of coins, I feel like they're very similar Aries. I just feel like this person is willing to work with you. So if it's something that you want to keep in the shadows or you want to keep hidden away from other people right now, this person is happy to accommodate that. Let's get some clarity on the three of coins. I want to say this person is very good with their hands. Okay, they're very sensual. They like touchy, feely, caressing, ca touch. Mm -hmm. Eight of swords. There's an, there's an element of feeling like their hands are tied. Like they want you, but they can't have you. Or they, they know they shouldn't have you here. Look at this. Six of Pentacles. Again, another confirming card. And the Nine of Cups. You're this person's wish. They want you in a big, massive way. This person wants you in a big, massive way. But at the same time with the Eight of Swords, they feel like they can't have you when they just want to have you. With the Six of Pentacles here, they're willing to serve you. Okay, they're willing to please you and give you pleasure. Because I see the Six of Pentacles as a card of giving. Okay, someone who is ready to give or offer something up here. But yeah, it looks like you're this person's wish. You make this person very happy. Right now, this person's running empty on their love tank. And I feel like you're the person that can really top up their love tank. So they're the messages, Aries. I hope you enjoyed this reading this week. Until next time, take care, guys. Bye for now.